So, welcome back to another episode, and today I'm going to talk about the insane video game overload that we are feeling right now at this very second. It started at the beginning of the year, it has not stopped, but right now we're in the whirlwind of it, and it is just incredible. And I'm going to ask you guys a question to begin with. How do you navigate all of the video games out there, and I'm gonna get into my story in a second here, but how do you navigate it? It's really ridiculous how many games are coming out. How do you make a decision? Do you go, okay, I'm only buying one game a month, or no, I'm only buying this one game for the year, or do you kind of splurge and get a little crazy and buy two to three games a month? And how do you cope with that? How do you cope with that? Because I'm having a crazy time coping with the amount of video games that are being released right now. And so, as at the beginning of the year, it was ridiculous. We had Ace Combat 7, we had the Resident Evil remake, you know, for Resident Evil 2, Kingdom Hearts 3, Devil May Cry 5, Fire Emblem, Dragon Quest 11, Gears of War 5, the list goes on and on. Judgment, I mean, it's crazy. Luigi's Mansion, Link's Awakening, I mean, no matter what system you have, there's some amazing games on it this year, for sure. And I, I've been able to kind of, you know, keep up to date, and I've been doing rather well with that. But lately, all of a sudden, I've gone a little bit overloaded. And uh, it kind of happened with, I got Death Stranding, and I'm like, okay, I'm focused on doing this. And I, I'm quite far into Death Stranding, and I'm still finding it an interesting game. It's not a debate about Death Stranding again. It's not about that. I'm talking about the amount of games. And then I'm like, Oh, wait a second, I, I went up this morning and I picked up uh, Pokemon Sword. I, I, I did originally have the double pack uh, pre-ordered through Amazon, but they told me I wasn't going to get it for another four days, so I cancelled it. And I just went up to my local Walmart and I picked up this. I haven't opened it up yet. Uh, Kim's getting in in the next couple hours. We're going to play this. And so we're looking forward to, uh, to you know, just to trying this out and going through this. So that alone. So uh, Death Stranding's getting put, getting put on hold to play a little bit of Pokemon Sword and Shield with my wife for the weekend. That's what I think we're going to have a little bit of fun and have a cozy weekend in. The weather's terrible out here. Have a little bit of fun with that. While I was in Walmart, I was looking around and I'm like, oh no. And I, I see this other game calling to me. And uh, it kind of makes a little bit of sense why it's been calling to me. is because I've been watching The Mandalorian. And the first episode was okay. I was like, okay, it's alright. Star Wars, we're kind of repeating ourselves a little bit. But I really like the new character. Where are we going to go with this? Then I watched the second episode of Mandalorian. Oh my god, I really enjoyed that quite a lot. Had a lot of fun there. And then all of a sudden I look up and I'm like, I've got to pick up Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order on the PS4. I need to have this like, kind of Star Wars experience. I love, I, I you know, my, my love for Star Wars has waned a little bit over the last few years. Um, but I, I want to enjoy playing a single player action game again. That's That sounds like a lot of fun for me. But where does that fit into my equation, right? Where does that fit in? All of a sudden I start arranging games in my mind. I'm like, Okay, uh, I'll do Pokemon Sword and Shield with Kim, and then she can play that uh, on the handheld version, I'm, and then I can play on the TV, that, and I'm like, well, wait a second. Here's, here's the dilemma of the overload of games. I'm like, Shenmue 3 is out on Tuesday, and I'm like, Shenmue 3 is my big game of the year that I've been looking forward to. I've been waiting for this sequel for so many years, even before they announced in 2015, I've been waiting for Shenmue 3 since I played the ending of Shenmue 2 and uh, the cliffhanger ending was so crazy. I'm like, and I never thought I'd ever see a sequel. And let me tell you, so many people have been telling me, hey John, why don't you do a, a, a video on the, de on the demo and all of this stuff? And I'm like, nope. Why don't you do a video on the new trailer that's dropped? And I'm like, nope. I want to go in and experience it all for the very first time and have that me moment. And so, quite literally, in my mind, what's happening on Tuesday, everything gets cancelled. Everything gets cancelled. It's Shenmue 3. That's my top priority this November into December. However long the game takes me, I don't know. I'm going to have a bit of fun, though, right? And I, I will do a first thoughts video on it. I'll have to do that. Uh, but for that one, it's going to be very organic, but that's the top priority. Kim can play uh, Pokemon on the Switch. That's great. So I'll do that. So where does Jedi Fall in Order come in? I'm pushing it off to my Christmas break. On Christmas break, 
I will play this game. You see, the negotiation you have to do with even three or four games, right? So I'm wondering for you guys, is it crazy? Do you have a stack of, you know, a huge backlog? And you're like, okay, I'll get to this then and this, and you start rearranging things? Or do you just go and say, screw it, I won't get to these. I'm not playing these. I And they go in the shelf. Do you do that? I, I honestly try to play most of the stuff I get. And I get, as you know, I do buy a lot of video games. It's, it's my hobby. I enjoy it quite a lot. But I try to get to all the big games that I've been looking forward to. Like, I... For this alone, want to open up, you know, fall in order and start playing this today. But I'm like, if I do that, then I won't be committed. I mean, and I'll have to stop it again. And I want to go back to Death Stranding as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. And then I have my friend Andrew coming in the beginning of the December. So we're going to play some games together. Who knows? Maybe I'll pull this out. Hopefully I'll get maybe Shenmue done before then. I don't know how long of a game Shenmue is, but it's interesting uh, that, you know, over the years, and I'm talking even before I ever had a show, uh, and th this show's been going for nearly 12 years now, but even before I had a show, every Christmas time, around this time of year, it was video game Armageddon for me personally. I'm, oh my God. And I get all these games and I get through some and some got left behind and I get, you know, catch up on them a little bit later on. But it's always been this way uh, for this time of year. It's like, I remember September was, I was like, my, my brain was exploding trying to keep up with everything. But you know, I had a lot of fun. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I have a lot of fun trying to keep up. That's where I'm at, where, you know, I'm trying to keep up because I really enjoy this hobby and I really have a lot of fun with these games and I really enjoy the companies that put their heart and soul into making these products of entertainment for us. So I applaud all these companies trying to give us this entertainment and I think it's really good and it's tough keeping up, but I definitely try. So what are also some games that you guys are looking forward to that you got in your backlog? You're like, nope, I'm buying this day one and screw all the other games. I, I kind of just want to hear how you arrange your overloaded backlog and how you buy games. I'm fascinated to know and I will read all the comments below. Even if it takes me hours, I definitely will go through them all because I'm asking the question. I want to know the answer 100%. So anyways, guys, until next time.